We're big time fans of Minnesota Fighting Vikings left tackle Christian friggin' Darasa. He's got the physicality and mentality and upside to potentially be one of the better left tackles in this league, uh, coming in as a number 23 overall pick last year out of Virginia Tech. Now, uh, of course, training camp it, this time of year is the uh, teams are prone to hyperbole, as uh, so just putting out to the media as like, oh, best shape of their life. Player could be X, Y, Z, comparing them to Hall of Famers, all of that stuff. And recently, uh, Christian Derrissaw, as reported by guys like Albert Breer and, and now uh, guys uh, like Ian Rappaport of NFL Network, comparing Christian Derrissaw, the Viking second year left tackle, to Trent Friggin Williams. I mean, Trent Williams is going to go down as one of the best left tackles in National Football League history. The fact that he missed a year uh, is just horrible. But e either way, he bounced back. The Vikings should have traded for him when he wanted out of Washington, but that's neither here nor there. Uh, but this is what uh, they wrote up at NFL.com. Uh, Vikings left tackle Darisaw poised for breakout sophomore season. Sorry, sophomore. Have to pronounce it. Uh, Vikings secondary offensive tackle Christian Darisaw has battled injuries that kept him from playing at his full potential in his rookie campaign. But entering his sophomore season, expectations are high. Ian Rappaport, NFL Network Insider, uh, reported Sunday that Minnesota believes Darisaw is going to be really, really good this year. Well, that's good. Hey, hey, you got coaches and decision makers talking to national media jabronis like, oh, hey, this player that uh, I, I drafted uh, or this player that I have to coach and our livelihoods are tied to, yeah, he's good. <laughs> okay. And he's already exceeded the expectations the team had for him. Rappaport also heard people say they could eventually play. Uh, Darisaw could eventually play at the level of 49ers. Trent Williams saying that when San Francisco visits for a joint practice, people are joking that it will be as if the current and future versions of the veteran offensive tackle are playing together. If Darisaw can rise to the occasion and prove why he was chosen in the first round of last year's draft, it could be setting him up to be the franchise left tackle. So it's going to be like the, the movie Looper. Where Trent uh, Trent Williams is uh, is uh, Bruce Willis and Darisaw is Joseph Gordon Levitt. Love to see it, man. And like we said, this isn't the first time that he's been compared to Trent Williams in the last couple of days. Albert Breer. So, uh, except he he couched it under the staff shades of Trent Williams in his build and movement. So that's the Viking staff saying that's like, oh, he, yeah, he's sort of built like Trent Williams. It kind of moves like him, sure, uh, but. But Rappaport is saying that they're doubling down. Like, he could play at the level of Trent Williams. And, I mean, hell, if Darisaw is 70% of Trent Williams, he's still going to be a Pro Bowl player, uh, which is still uh, – that, that speaks to how badass Trent Williams is, man. Uh, but uh, the thing about Darisaw, I, I had a crush on him in the draft process last year. Uh, he was my – you can make a good case – that he could have been the first uh, offensive tackle taken if he had been healthy, if he had been able to test. Uh, but, of course, Penny Sewell, all that potential in the world. There's a reason why Detroit drafted him top high when he fell. And, of course, Rashawn Slater doing fantastic things uh, with the Chargers right out of the gate. And Derrissaw, even though Derrissaw came in no offseason, no training camp, came into the season cold, uh, he really did get overshadowed by uh, Penny Sewell and, uh, Chris, uh, and Rashawn Slater. I... Every time we're talking about 2021 tackles, I combine Christian Derrissaw and Rashawn Slater and come up with Christian Slater. It's kind of funny, man. But, yeah, Rashawn Slater is already a bad dude. Uh, but Derrissaw, I, I think he does have potential to be that guy. I think that he has the physical upside of of, uh, of uh, Penny Sewell. And also, I think that he does have the technical refinement of a Rashawn Slater. And he's getting better. Uh, the fact that he is just scratching the surface of his potential is, is just amazing, man. So I, I love me some Christian Derrissaw. You know, the fact that he ha has is in this new offense, has a new offensive line coach and Chris Cooper, who's been there, done that, got in the T-shirt. And I think that he and O'Neal are going to be the bookends of one of the best, uh, you know, tackle offensive and offensive lines in general in the next couple of years once they suture up that interior offensive line. So his his upside is unlimited now. Uh, are, is it hyperbolic at this point calling him the future Trent Williams? Sure. Yeah, yes. Yeah, yes, it is. But the the fact that you know, Vikings fans aren't flinching, they're not saying OBS, and also uh, National Football League fans around uh, the country and the world aren't saying, like, no, nah, that doesn't make any sense. M more like, yeah, I, I could see it. If he works out, uh, if he stays healthy, knocking on all the wood, and he he continues on his projection, sure, he could become the next Trent, Trent Williams, where he just uh, massively physically imposing, just gets it done, and just absorbs all the pass rushers, and also is great in the run game too. And I think Darisaw could be that guy. Uh, but your thoughts are our thoughts. Christian Darisaw compared to Trent freaking Williams again.
Again, let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. Subscribe for daily Vikings takes. Want to support the work? Put a little something in the Venmo. But until next time, Skull, production value.